Hello there, Aruner is here and today we are going to review new faction Fireshans. Fireshans are led by Alkinos. He is uh, a buffer hero. He is able to boost his units. One is the immovable force, very good for your frontline. Similarly truth. And also for other units we got a leader of men for boosting attack and defense and in overall we can have used the shield resistance ability. You are not going to duel with this hero much but to support your other units. Let's have a look on the roster. We are starting with Islanders. Uh, they are unspotable, invisible when not moving Otherwise, they are the weakest unit in the game. You need to be very careful how to use them. Spears! Next, we have the standard spears. These spears are uh, quite okay, maybe underperforming compared to other units. They are just very standard and average, not very strong. If you want a stronger frontline in your early game, you can get Light Spearman from Watchtower, as, as this is tier 2 unit. You will do much better with these guys. Then we have a special unit, Fireshan Sailors, as this is Island Faction and for pirating. Uh, they are also unspotable. You are going to use this ability to get into good position and be like a kill line or the flankers. They have pretty good swords and they are also second tier unit. Next we have the special Fireshan skirmishers. These javelins are uh, quite different than many other javelins. They have uh, less ammunition which is not so good but they have pretty strong javelins. And you can see they have a different weapon. Uh, if they go to the melee mode, they will use the spear. Uh, because they are throwing uh, javelins and spears, they can use one to fight back. Uh, they have quite decent melee stats and good speed. So this is your alternative spearman as well. Uh, I would recommend using these as flankers and don't be afraid to use them in melee. Uh, maybe be careful, but if you can use them as flanker, please do so. Bounce! Missiles are also special. These hunters are very sneaky and stalky. Uh, they are invisible and that's why they are able to get to the good range and do a damage. They are much better than the Echean Bowmen. Let's move to the mid tier. As the early early game units were kind of weak, uh, we can have the Island Club Warriors from the port tier 3 building. They have a decent stats and a very good weapon, especially against lower tier units. Uh, again, you are going to use Unspotable to make them invisible from enemies. Next we have two-handed spears and this is your front line. I kid you not, uh, they have maybe slightly over defense than other front lines. They have pretty good attack and quite good weapon. Uh, what makes them a front line is not the just uh, charge defense but also the flanking defense improved. They are pretty good at dueling, uh, but you shall hold the ground, don't move them, and then they are going to do very well. So, this is your front line, but you are going to have a problem with this faction. They don't have shield. So what do we do about it? We got version marines. They have shields, they have weaker combat capabilities, uh, but we are going to use uh, their speed, their unspottableness 
and maybe even flanking it to improve to catch enemy missiles or support your, your front line that is next to them. These marines are pretty good uh, flankers, but you need to be very, very good with uh, unspotable, which means when they are moving, hit backspace, they stop moving and they will have this icon, they will be invisible. You are going to use this in the battle quite actively and that's what makes them good. Next we have very good javelins, maybe a little bit slower. They throw quite uh, strong javelins. Uh, actually they are throwing spears. And if you know better you can use such spears. Uh, they might have weaker combat stats than previous uh, melee units, uh, but they are gonna do very well against lower tier units that, that will try to catch them. Again, uh, you can use them as flankers and they will do very well as flankers. And just add ammunition, you are going to spend these javelins or spears anyway. Let's move to the archers. They are also very very sneaky, that's why they are fashion snipers. Uh, they can shoot from slightly bigger range, they have quite okay or good uh, damage. And you are going to utilize Stalk. Together with your unspotable flankers, this Stalk unit is going to be doing very well. Next we have the melee chariots, Achaean version, quite good standard. Uh, this faction would be quite dead without a good chariot. And you can be happy that we, we got you covered. Now let's move to the late game. We are going to show you uh, the royal units. As fashions are kingdom, they can afford very strong uh, royal guardsmen. These guys are very good at dueling. They have bonus versus force and axe. 15 is quite a lot. Uh, but please don't charge with them. Use them as the uh, showstopper or the charge stoppers. These are perfect for your sieges where you hold the choke point, uh, they don't need to move and anybody who wants to challenge them is going to be uh, killed by these fire shell guardmen. Uh, next we have fire shell nobles. These are no longer hiding. They can show their good armor and phenomenal weapon. This has bonus versus spear man 15. So as your Guardsmen are going to kill swords and axes. Uh, these nobles are going to, to kill spears. And with very good uh, attack and decent charge, these are going to melt enemies. Uh, next, we have royal javelin men. They are going to protect your uh, settlements and walls with their even stronger javelins, uh, which now can deal um, moral effect. They are gonna. So if uh, if these javelins are not gonna kill them, it will rout them. And if they run out of javelins, or maybe spears, you can say, they can be pretty decent um, melee frontline unit. 41 attack defense and pretty good weapon. Uh, it makes them very good in sieges. Also, they are heavy. They are going to do very well against chariots. Not just because of their large bonus, but because of their heavy. Uh, next we have the Fayashan Royal Archers. They are no longer hiding, no longer stalking. But instead they are using very good 
fresh new bow with 180 range. Yes, this is one unique bow. There is no such a bow in the game. Average archers are going to have 170 and elite archers are going to have 185 or 190. So this is definitely above average uh, archer tier. Also, thanks to their armor, they are going to stop chariot. They are not so good in the melee, like the javelins, but they have enough ammunition to deal a lot of damage. Also, this is very good for your late game sieges. And then we got the chariots. Uh, reinforced chariots are very good heavy option, pretty standard, common, they perform very well. But that is not everything. We got even more noble, more royal version of this. Fashion noble chariots are having uh, very good stats. And what makes them even more unique is that uh, these guys are having the archer model on each platform. So they are a melee chariot. Please don't forget to toggle melee mode. Use them as melee. And as a bonus, you are going to have more damage from these archers. So finally, we got a chariot, melee chariot. Uh, that is having some good missile model or you can say that we have missile chariot that is going to do well in melee. So how we are going to play this roster? Uh, the elite roster is uh, very nice uh, for the sieges or so. You are able to hold choke points or maybe kill enemy spears throws javelins to kill them off, outrange enemies. This is very nice royal army setup. But to get there, you will have to use a completely different mindset, different uh, toolbox. You will have to utilize your unspottable units. Uh, maybe you will hit backspace during your battle. Similarly with fashion spearmen, uh, they are frontline and to make them brace you also need to hit backspace or be carefully moving them forward. A big drawback of this roster is that they don't have shields. But you need to use your uh, snipers uh, and your unspottable units to protect your spears. And with javelins they also don't have shields. Ah. This is your flanker as well. So these guys are going to deal with enemy missiles and your spear front line and spear javelin line, so to speak, are going to deal with infantry. And yes, chariots to deal with chariots. You have to be quite good at this game to pull this roster, to use this roster very well because it's not easy to protect units without shields. And the snipers have 150 range, so... and they are quite slow. So you need to really bait enemies. I would really bring even islanders at quite a number of them just to distract enemy. Maybe bring this. In early game you are going to have a challenge, but it's a worthy one. So, I hope you will have quite a fun with this challenging and unique faction. That is all and see you later.